Carl Disch, a renowned physicist recognized for his significant contributions to the realm of particle physics, hailed from a quaint German town where his fascination with science, especially physics, bloomed at an early age. His academic journey commenced with the pursuit of physics studies at a university in Germany and later took him across the Atlantic to the United States, culminating in the award of a PhD in particle physics. Despite his illustrious career, the scientific world was thrown into disarray by Carl Disch's inexplicable disappearance at Bird Station in Antarctica. This enigmatic event has perplexed the scientific community to its core, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and sparking numerous theories and speculations. The mystery surrounding Carl Disch's fate continues to captivate the minds of researchers and enthusiasts alike. Throughout his professional journey, Disch played a pivotal role in advancing the realm of particle physics by making substantial and noteworthy contributions. His focused area of research revolved around the intricate examination of the characteristics of subatomic particles, showcasing a profound expertise in this specialized domain. Distinguished for his profound insights, Disch authored numerous scholarly articles in esteemed scientific publications, underlining his status as a distinguished authority in the field. Moreover, his reputation transcended borders, as evidenced by the frequent invitations extended to him to deliver keynote addresses at prestigious symposiums and esteemed educational institutions across the globe. Dish's impact extended beyond his research endeavors. His role as an educator and mentor was equally notable. Renowned for his adept teaching abilities, he garnered admiration as a professor appreciated for his accessibility and profound knowledge. His commitment to nurturing budding physicists showcased his dedication to shaping the future of the field, earning him immense respect among his students. Apart from contributing significantly to the academic realm through his research, Dish's legacy includes a profound influence on aspiring physicists, exemplifying a profound dedication to both knowledge dissemination and mentorship. Bird Station served as a secluded research outpost, situated in one of the most extreme climates worldwide. This remote facility, known for its unforgiving environment, was where Dish embarked on his research journey with great enthusiasm. Despite the harsh conditions that surrounded him, Dish's determination and passion for his work remained unwavering as he delved into the complexities of his research. Upon his arrival at Bird Station, a series of events unfolded that eventually led to his mysterious disappearance. Dish, a researcher hailed for his expertise and competence, started displaying unusual behavior marked by erratic and unpredictable actions. His concerned peers at the time attempted to establish contact with him in a bid to assist, only to be met with silence on his end. The transformation of Dish from a reliable professional to a troubled individual at Bird Station stirred deep apprehension among those who worked alongside him, prompting them to seek ways to support him despite his reluctance to engage. Over the ensuing days, Dish's conduct took a bizarre turn, escalating in peculiarity. His presence at the station was marked by aimless strolls, accompanied by incoherent muttering and erratic actions that raised concerns among his co-workers. Despite multiple attempts by his peers to address the situation, Dish remained obstinate, disregarding logical appeals and persisting in his unpredictable demeanor. After a series of unfolding events, the pivotal moments preceding Dish's vanishing occurred on a particular day when he was observed departing from the station and venturing into the unforgiving Antarctic terrain. Despite the earnest attempts of his companions to prevent him, Dish ventured into the wild and has remained beyond contact or sighting ever since. The circumstances surrounding his disappearance paint a mysterious picture, leaving many unanswered questions about what transpired in the vast and icy expanses of the Antarctic. In 1965, Dish and his fellow scientists, including other researchers, set foot at Bird Station, situated approximately 600 miles away from the South Pole, initiating a substantial and long-lasting scientific expedition. Over the following half-year period, Dish predominantly dedicated his time to operations within a radio booth positioned a significant distance of one mile from the primary station building. To facilitate navigation amid the challenging and unpredictable Antarctic climate conditions, a sturdy rope was strategically extended between these establishments, serving as a lifeline to ensure safe traversal in adverse weather scenarios. Carl Disch demonstrated great familiarity with the terrain as he navigated skillfully between buildings, 
adeptly using a rope for assistance. However, on the morning of May 8th, a peculiar turn of events occurred. He departed from the radio booth with the intention of reaching the station building, but mysteriously vanished, never to be seen again. This unexpected disappearance raised questions and sparked inquiries into the circumstances surrounding his final moments. After a thorough investigation, it came to light that Dish departed the radio booth precisely at nine in the morning, a time when darkness still enveloped the surroundings. The weather conditions were harsh, with a relentless strong wind gusting through the Antarctic landscape, accompanied by a bone-chilling temperature plummeting to minus 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the extreme cold, Dish donned specialized attire made for Antarctic exploration, ensuring he was adequately protected from the severe elements. Considering his attire and the familiarity of the route between the dwellings, the journey between the houses was estimated to be under 30 minutes. When Dish failed to arrive at the station by the designated time of 10 in the morning, his co-workers grew increasingly concerned. In response, they swiftly organized a search party to comb through the vicinity around the rope connecting the two structures. As the clock ticked towards 11.30 in the morning, their diligent efforts paid off when they stumbled upon a discernible path of human footprints originating from the radio box, hinting at a possible direction where Dish might have ventured. The traces commenced their journey from the base of a ladder connected to the cabin. However, rather than veering towards the south following the rope, which would be the conventional path one would anticipate, they took a westerly direction leading them to the ski trail meticulously planned by the scientific community. After meticulously tracing the tracks left behind by Dish, his companions diligently pursued the footprints for approximately four miles, only to be confounded when the trail abruptly vanished. The puzzling aspect of this scenario became glaringly apparent as the team scanned their surroundings, revealing no trace of a lifeless form believed to have been concealed by the snow, nor any indication pointing towards a potential attack on Dish that would have culminated in the removal of his body. Upon further observation, it appeared peculiar that considering the circumstances of being lost in a blizzard, Dish's footprints did not exhibit the typical pattern of a person wavering back and forth in search of the correct route to the station. Instead, the tracks indicated a deliberate and intentional movement in a specific direction. This intriguing detail raised questions about the purpose behind Dish's confident stride amidst such challenging conditions. The clear direction in which he appeared to be heading suggested a determined resolve rather than uncertainty or confusion. Upon analysis, it was indicated that during the specific instance of movement, Carl did not perceive himself as being disoriented or bewildered. Due to the depletion of their fuel reserves, the team faced obstacles in examining the location where the signs of Dish's presence had been absent for an extended period, prompting their return to the station. They made the unanimous decision to replenish the fuel for their means of transportation before resuming their investigation of the vanished tracks. Following the refueling process, the team re-engaged in a meticulous and exhaustive three-hour exploration of the vicinity, yet the outcome remained disappointing as no significant discoveries were made during this extended search period. Upon their return to the base at six in the evening, the team found themselves without any discoveries to report. The escalating winds had forced them to halt their inspection, rendering it impossible to proceed. Despite this setback, they clung to a glimmer of hope, fueled by the possibility that Dish, albeit chilled and lost, might still be alive, eagerly anticipating their rescue mission. The harsh weather conditions had thwarted their efforts, but the team's determination remained unwavering, as they refused to abandon the notion that their companion could be awaiting their arrival in dire need of assistance. Upon arriving at the station, they commenced a thorough exploration of the surroundings, meticulously examining both the station premises and the radio booth. Subsequently, they rallied together to establish a human chain, systematically combing through the path connecting the base to the ski trail. This path was in close proximity to the point where the individual's tracks vanished, prompting a concerted effort to unravel the mystery. Despite facing challenging weather conditions, the team actively engaged in illuminating searchlights and launching flares at regular intervals of 30 minutes. They persisted in these efforts until the visibility deteriorated significantly, rendering these actions futile. During the subsequent day, 
the initiation of the third search mission took place, focusing on examining the vicinity spanning from the base to the ski run following the chain of tracks. Regrettably, at that point, the tracks had predominantly deteriorated due to powerful winds. Occasionally, they encountered undamaged tracks along the way. However, after covering a distance of four miles, these tracks eventually vanished. The team diligently scoured the area, meticulously tracing the remnants of tracks despite the challenging conditions posed by the weather. On the fateful morning of May 10, 1965, which marked two days after Carl's mysterious vanishing, a renewed and extensive search operation was set into motion. The exploration initially commenced at the central station complex and subsequently extended towards the southern direction, conducting thorough searches in both the eastern and western regions, clearly marking the areas that were investigated. However, despite an exhaustive examination spanning 12 miles beyond the station boundaries, no discoveries were made. The meticulous search operation covered a significant radius outside the station compound, encompassing detailed sweeps of the surrounding areas in all cardinal directions. During the operations conducted on May 12th, thorough searches were conducted within the Baird Station's northeastern and southwestern areas. Despite the favorable weather conditions at that time, the darkness posed a significant challenge to the search efforts as visibility was greatly hindered. Subsequently, over the following two days, the combination of intense winds and dense fog severely limited visibility to the point where conducting further searches became unfeasible. This climatic deterioration hampered the search team's ability to continue their operations effectively, highlighting the intricate challenges they faced in their mission due to environmental factors. On May 14th, an extensive search covering an area of 35 square miles was conducted in an attempt to locate Carl, but unfortunately, no signs of him were discovered. Despite thorough efforts, neither Carl nor any clues leading to his whereabouts were unearthed. Subsequently, the search operation was called off. The inquiries that were raised in the past remain relevant even today. The perplexing circumstances surrounding Carl's deviation from his typical path along the rope continue to puzzle many. The mystery deepens with the question of how he managed to vanish without a single trace. It is intriguing that had he merely been lost and succumbed to the cold, his remains would likely have been discovered during the extensive search efforts. The abrupt cessation of his tracks, almost as if he evaporated into nothingness, adds an additional layer of complexity to this enigma. These unanswered questions linger, provoking curiosity and speculation about the bizarre sequence of events that led to Carl's mysterious disappearance. In the investigation of predator attacks in Antarctica, polar bears were swiftly dismissed as suspects since they are not native to the region, eliminating any potential involvement of four-legged predators altogether. The primary threat to coastal penguins comes from a limited group of predators namely skuas, killer whales, and sea lions. In Antarctica, the vanishing of Carl Disch at Bird Station raised significant alarm within the scientific realm, prompting immediate and extensive search operations to locate him. The challenging terrain and extreme conditions of Antarctica posed obstacles to the search efforts, necessitating the formation of a specialized team of professionals to lead the investigative process. The disappearance of Disch not only spurred concerns about his well-being, but also underscored the complexities involved in conducting search and rescue missions in such a remote and unforgiving environment. The collaborative efforts of the assembled experts highlighted the meticulous approach taken to unravel the mystery behind Dish's disappearance. During the initial stage of the search operation, significant attention was directed towards the immediate vicinity of Bird Station. Dedicated search and rescue teams, in collaboration with volunteers from the scientific sector, meticulously combed through the area. This meticulous search encompassed a thorough exploration of the nearby wilderness on foot and an extensive aerial reconnaissance using helicopters. Regrettably, despite the exhaustive efforts exerted by the search teams, there was no trace or indication of Dish's whereabouts in this large-scale search operation. In the course of the ongoing search efforts, the focus gradually transitioned towards a more thorough and detailed examination of the series of events preceding Dish's vanishing. This thorough investigation encompassed conducting interviews with his associates and meticulously scrutinizing any accessible video or audio documentation from the station. Additionally, the inquiry delved into Dish's personal history and background, 
in an endeavor to ascertain whether any pertinent details could provide clues regarding his mysterious disappearance. This meticulous scrutiny extended to exploring Dish's past and personal relationships to discern any potential leads that might illuminate the circumstances surrounding his sudden absence. Dish, a renowned physicist known for his dedication to research, mysteriously vanished, causing profound grief and sorrow within his circle of acquaintances. His unexplained absence not only led to unanswered questions, but also created a void in the scientific community due to his invaluable contributions. The mysterious vanishing of Dish within the scientific realm has triggered inquiries into the risks associated with conducting studies in extreme settings like Antarctica. Furthermore, it has initiated dialogues regarding the necessity of robust mental health resources for researchers stationed in these isolated regions. This incident has also reignited attention towards enhancing safety measures and protocols for individuals engaged in research activities within remote and arduous environments. Delving deeper into the implications of Dish's disappearance, the scientific community is now actively scrutinizing the challenges and demands faced by researchers working in such secluded and demanding conditions, emphasizing the critical need for comprehensive support systems and stringent safety guidelines to safeguard the well-being and security of researchers in the pursuit of scientific exploration. In the eyes of Dish's close friends and family, his sudden vanishing has struck them with immense sorrow and despair. Despite extensive search and rescue operations, there has been no trace of his whereabouts, leaving his dear ones clinging to the hope that someday he might reappear. This mysterious event has triggered contemplation on the toll that working in isolated settings can take on a person's psychological and emotional stability. So, what do you make of this mysterious disappearance? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.